In this video, we will be talking about elimination reaction problems. For this worksheet, we have to determine the major products of the five reactions and state if they are E1 or E2. For the first reaction, we have a secondary alkyl halide with a strong base in a polar product solvent. with a negatively charged nucleophile. This is going to be an E2 process. And the product will be this. We can take a beta hydrogen off of either carbon, but we will still end up with the same product. For the next one, we have a secondary alcohol halide, a strong base, and a strong nucleophile. We are in a polar product solvent. So this will also be an E2 process. We have beta hydrogens here and here. However, the beta hydrogens need to be anti-periplanar, and this carbon does not have the beta hydrogens as anti-periplanar, but this carbon does. So our product will be this. Or the next one, we have a secondary alkyl halide with a weak base and a weak nucleophile. Therefore, this is going to be an E1 process. Even though this is a secondary alkyl halide with the weak base and nucleophile, this will favor an E1 over an E2. For the product, We have this. For the next one, we have a similar reactant. However, we don't have a double bond here. And this is a tertiary alcohol halide. And we also have a weak base and nucleophile. Therefore, this will be an E1 process. And the product will be this. This will be an E isomer here, not Z, because E is going to form the most stable alkene. For the last one, we have a secondary alkyl halide, and we have a strong base and nucleophile. Therefore, this will be an E2 process, and the product will be this. That concludes the video on elimination reaction problems.